So I wanted to give a quick update on the Solark 15K here because I just had a minor issue with it that I just wanted to explain what happened. So I was sitting in my office outside and power went out, bang. Just for a second, came right back on. I came in here to look at what the heck happened because I was actually tied to the grid at the time. So I was in hybrid mode where it was, it was working only off the solar and the batteries, um, but I do have the grid connected just as backup, just in case. And the power went out. So I came in here to look at what the heck happened. This thing was flashing an error code and it was beeping at me and it said F34. So I looked up in the trusty manual here that they give you and F34 reads AC overload fault. I wasn't running more than about 5,000 watts on this thing. This thing can handle easily 12,000 watts without an issue. And that's in off grid mode, just on batteries only. I mean, from solar, if it's on solar, it can handle up to 15,000 watts. So there's no way I overloaded this thing. So I actually looked back, checked the logs on the app. I never spiked. I never had any. I mean, I do have a well pump. I have a pressure pump to pressurize my whole water system on my property here. It's also running off this thing. Um, I had the air conditioning on as well, but nothing else was running besides the AC and just some loads in my house. So it was only around 5,000 watts. Shouldn't happen. I gave Solark a call because I was concerned. I didn't know what I should do. I mean, it fired right back up by itself, turned back on. So everything was good but it got me worried as what the heck just happened. So I called them. So what I do like about Solark is I was able to get on the phone immediately. They answered it within about three rings. Um, and I asked them what happened here. And I was able to give them my serial number. They could log in and check it out. And they said there was nothing on my end. It was a software issue that actually the software was, I guess, three times out of date. So they were able to just send a package right to this thing via the Wi-Fi dongle here and it updated itself. It did have to shut my power down for about three minutes in order to restart and reboot, but they were able to flash it. They said that should take care of it. I've been good ever since for the last roughly 14 hours. So, but I just wanted to let you guys all know that did happen so far. I did have one minor issue with the EG4 just came out with their 18 KPV. Basically it's a direct inverter hybrid all in one that is almost a mirror image of the Solark 15K here, but it is $2,500 less. So I did reach out to who I'm an affiliate with and they did say that he gave me a discount code to give you all if you were looking to buy that to take $101 off it. So it's the cheapest place I could find to buy it right now. Um, so take a look at the link in the description on that. Uh, the coupon code or the discount code is Brian101, B-R-I-A-N-101. I decided I'm going to go ahead and give you all my PDF, uh, my di basically a diagram that I drew of how all this is wired and also every part down to like the lock the lock rings the conduit type the wire everything i have that in a pdf i'm giving it out for free look at it for a link in the description there'll be a little landing page you can click on and download it um so i did decide to give that away free in my other videos i said you have to use the links for the Solark or the eg4 batteries and then email me i'm just giving it away for free guys i'm hoping that you will use my links in that pdf uh, if it helps you out that's it for now everyone if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be happy to answer them thanks everyone